Hello, sports fans and football fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And today, I'm here with another college football game for you. And today, it's going to be another of my classic matchup series. And this is going to be Ohio State. And let's go get them right now. Ohio State um, will be hosting Wisconsin. And you can see that game right there. Now, I want to point out something funny. I had to quick sim the season to get to this game, to be able to post this game. And I noticed that Ohio State was 7-1. and one. They lost a game. And it turns out that we lost to Navy, 36-30 unbelievable that we lost the Navy um, so I mean I just don't know what to say about that but uh, nevertheless this game is against Wisconsin and we will take a look at uh, both uh, teams we're gonna go to the we're gonna go to the um, let's see team yeah, we're going to go, let's click on Ohio State, and we are on Ohio State. So, let's go to the notebook, and you can see that Ohio State is supreme against the pass and average to good against the run. That may have been why we lost to Navy. Um, and, and also, let's... Uh, there was something else we need to look at. Notebook. Um, and they were actually 11-2 and two last year. So let's go look at Wisconsin and see what kind of a matchup we can expect this to be. Uh, the notebook says that they were 9-4. and four. So they were a good team, but they weren't 11-2. and two. They're supreme against the run and average to good against the pass. Of course, you're going to see with college teams, especially with the big-time programs, you're going to see that they're going to be supreme against somebody. So, anyway, uh, let's go in and start the week. It's going to quick sim the other weeks, but we'll leave this as manual for right now, and we will say play one week, and then it should give us our game after all the other games are simmed. Navy. I can't believe we lost to Navy. Uh, and I do have the sound down on this. I have the sound down, and I have the Screencast-O-Matic not recording computer sound. So you should be able to hear me really easily uh, throughout the game. And that is what we're going to do. It's giving us the game, and we're going to say launch it. And let me, I'm going to put myself down about right here. I'm going to defer the kickoff for right now. And uh, so we are kicking off. We are in the, I guess, the dark red. And Wisconsin is in the lighter red, which would make sense. And you can see I got my Ohio State jersey on. All right, so we're going to continue, and uh, let's go over the Wisconsin offense while they're out there. They have um, halfback Braylon Allen, fullback John Chennel. The quarterback will be Graham Mertz. Uh, the flanker is Danny Davis III. The split end is Kendrick Pryor. The tight end is Jake Ferguson. Right tackle is Logan Bruss. Right guard is Jack Nelson. The center is Joe Tipman. The left guard is Josh Selzner. And the left tackle is Tyler Breach. Tyler Beach. And uh, our defensively for Ohio State, we have left end Zach Hansen. Left tackle Antoine Jackson. The free safety is Denzel Burke. Right tackle is Haskell Garrett. The right end is Tyreek Smith. The uh, left, the right, the right linebacker is uh, Ronnie Hickman. The middle linebacker is Steel Chambers. And uh, the left linebacker is Cody Simon. 
And out here at left cornerback, you got Cameron Brown. Strong safety is Bryson Shaw. And the uh, right cornerback is Lathan Ransom. Now, we are, I think it said we were elite or supreme or whatever um, against the run. So I am going to, well, we're going to start off like we always start off with a balanced. I'm going to start off with the balanced. We'll see what that does. Their quarterback is passing. We're good against that. I think he probably caught the pass, and he did for five yards. And so Wisconsin has a second and five. And I'm now I'm going to look for pass. I mean, we're elite against the run. So if he runs the ball, you've got to think, and he just did. And we, well, I mean, we stopped him after five yards, not looking for it. I guess that's not too bad, but. All right, let's go. We're going to look for the pass. And he runs it again. And we're elite, and we're not stopping him for Jack. All right. So he gets nine yards out of that. Got a second and one. I'm going to look run. Oh, wait a minute. Did we get this? We might have gotten this. I'm just going to fall on it. I'm falling on it right there. We're just going to fall on the ball. And there you go. They try to run too many times on the Supreme defense. The Supreme being defense. All right. So um, let's go over our offense. You have wide receiver Chris Clay, Chris Olav, not Clay, Chris Olav. You've got split end Garrett Wilson. Along the line, you've got left tackle Nicholas Pettit Freer. Then you have left guard uh, Thayer Munford. Center is Luke Weipler. The right guard is Paris Johnson Jr. The right tackle is. Duwand Jones. The tight end is Jeremy Rucker. The flanker is uh, Jackson Smith Nahiba. The fullback is Mayan Williams. And the quarterback is CJ Stroud. And they got a passing offense in there. Why not? And why not just go long to the split end? Well, probably because they're elite against the pass, aren't they? I don't know. They're elite against something. And it's intercepted. And there's another key turnover. <laughs> this one for us. Well, we backed him up. I mean, I at least I um, managed to back him up. And we're going to look for the run on first down. Oh, we're off sides. Well, that's going to give him some yards anyway. Not to mention he got three yards. I don't think this offense is really looking like it was a lead. But they got a first and five. I, I'm going to go run and key on Malucci, the running back. And you know what? We did it, and he only got, what did he get? Two yards. Two yards. We're, we're a supreme running defense that was keying on the back who got the ball. And he got two yards. That is one heck of a guy right there. All right, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put in the run. I'm gonna put in the plane run. And they fumbled again. And I think no, no, they're gonna get it back. They're gonna get it back. Either way, it would have been a first down. Whether they it was they recovered it or whatever. All right, um, they got a first and 10 <clears throat> at their own 28. I'm going to look for the run. Seem to be what they're doing. And we can't stop it to save our lives. Maybe we were elite against the pass. I don't know. Um, so he got five yards out of that. Let's look for the run again. He is running again. Again, we can't really stop it. Uh, let's look for the run again. And really, even if it, we weren't supreme against the, even if it's not the run that we were supreme against, 
we were still average to good against it. You would think if I'm looking for it, I would stop him from getting these kinds of yards. But anyway, we're going to look for the run again. He does run again. And now that time was pretty good, except he only needed three yards and he got him. First down, I'm going to look for run. I'm going to key on Allen. Oh, now he's passing. Now he decides to pass, but he misses it, which is good. <coughs> so now I'm going to look for the run, and I'm going to key on Allen. And is that Allen? No, it was Chanel. It was the other guy, but he only got four yards. So now they got a third and six. Now I'm going to look pass, although he could run and he'd probably even get it if he uh, decided to. No, he doesn't. So we do stop him. We stop him on downs. He's going to punt. And we're still in a 0-0 game. He is at our 46. I'm going to put in the punt return. There is 8-17 left in the first quarter. And he hems us in at the 10-yard line. So we'll have a first and 10 at the 10. Yeah, let's go, uh, let's go draw play with Henderson. Well, that was a nice play. Got 14 yards on that bad boy. So now we have a first and 10 at our 24. I'm going to go flat to the tight end. And that was a nice play too. All right. All right. Let's do the ball control offense. I tried to do the bomb on first down last series and <clears throat> he just picked it off and said, what else you got? <coughs> I'm going to do a look and pass to the fullback. And that's incomplete. So we're going to have a third and three. Third and three, I'm going to go flat to the wide receiver, Olav. Wasn't there a guy in the, in the movie... Um, uh, frozen named Olav. But anyway, <clears throat> we got a first down. So we got a first and 10 now, um, at, uh, our 43 yard line. Let's go short to the split and Wilson. Spread it out. Going short. That works. All right. I guess as long as we don't try to Throw it deep. We'll be all right. Okay. Let's see here. We got a first and 10 at the Wisconsin 43. I, you know what? I can't help it. I'm going to go long again. I want to see if we can complete a long pass on these guys. Uh, probably no. Oh, wait a minute. Did he catch that? Yes, he did for 26 yards. Nice. I thought it was going to be picked off. I honestly thought it was, they were going to pick it off again. So now we have a first and 10 at the Wisconsin 17. And I'm going to go short pass to the wide receiver. And he does catch it and gets us to the two-yard line, three-yard line. 14-yard gain. All right, first and goal to three. I'm going to go back to the pro set, and we're going to go off tackle with the halfback. And he gets a touchdown, and it wasn't even that hard. <clears throat> All right, so we got a first and goal. We're going to kick. 
We're going to kick the extra point to make it 7 nothing, And go up 7 nothing on Wisconsin, even though we lost to Navy. Even though we inexplicably lost to Navy. We're kicking off to the Wisconsin Bucky Badgers. <laughs> Ooh, that was nice penetration, but he just blew past that guy, though. And now the punter has to make the stop. That's pretty embarrassing. All right, so they're going to have a first and 10 at their own 45. First and 10 at the Wisconsin 45. They must have had great special team. I'm going to start with a linebacker blitz. Let's just start with a linebacker blitz. Whoa, they were probably a, a false start or something. So now they got a first and 15. Uh, you know what? I'm going to look for the run. I'm looking for the run. And they do. And I stop him, but he gets five good yards right there. Unbelievably crazy. All right. So he's got a second and 10. I'm going to look. I'm going to look pass again. Oh, he runs it. But we track him down. We tracked him down, even though I wasn't looking for the pass. So that, that really helps. Because he lost yards there. So now he's got a third and 11. Now I am going to look for the pass. I'm not going to double team anybody. Because that always seems to not do well. And we did hold him on downs. He has to punt. And we are going to put in the punt return. And it looks like we're just going to let it drop wherever it does. And wherever it does ends up being the four-yard line. So we got a first and ten from the four. So what do they got for us? I'm going to go pro set. And we're going to go off tackle with the halfback. And he got some good yards. Yes, he did. He got five yards on that first and ten. I'm going to go pro set again. And this time we're going to go line buck with the fullback. Oh, he was off sides. So I'm going to definitely accept that penalty. Accept the penalty and we got a first and ten at the 14. Now let's try a flat to the wide receiver. See, with Ohio State, they have enough weapons. I can, I can change it up. I can go from pass to run, and they're not going to necessarily know what I'm doing because we can do both. Uh, but I'm going to go back to the pro set, and we're going to go on second and ten. We're going to go off tackle with Henderson. Oh, he's going to get tracked down. Unreal. Lost a yard or two there. No, we lost nothing. We did get back to the line of scrimmage. Third and ten, definitely I am passing. And I'm going to go short to Olav. And that is a nice pass for a first down, Ohio State. 16-yard pass. So we have a first and 10. Now I'm going to go back to the uh, pro set and we're going to go end run with Henderson. Oh, he's going to get way trapped in the backfield. Maybe they were, they, I think they were supreme against the run. Maybe they're supreme against the run and we're supreme against the pass. That might be. That would make sense based on how things have gone so far. Um, all right, let's go short, medium pass to the flanker. But still, they're averaged to good against the pass. They shouldn't be this bad and this porous against it. But we get the first down again. I mean, it's like, you know, whenever we need a pass, we can come up with one. And we have just entered the second quarter as well. I had 7 nothing, And now with a first and 10 at um, the... Um, at our own 41-yard line. 
So I am going to do a look in pass to the fullback. People accuse me of not passing to the backs. So I'm going to do that, although he missed him big time. Launch it again. I shouldn't do that, though, because we've looked pretty shaky on long passes. Oh, he has to hit the outlet guy, though. And that's fine, because we get eight yards out of it. I'm going to go back to the uh, pro set, and we're going to go line buck with the fullback, Williams. And he is bumbling, stumbling through there and getting the first down. And we're going to go off tackle with the halfback. Even though he's a lead against the run, though, he is not stopping us. Must be not completely, completely not looking for it. There was a penalty, though, on that play, it looks like, and it might have been on us. No, it wasn't, and I'm going to decline it because we got some good yards anyway. I'm happy with the yards we got. I'm going to try to pop it in there, short pass to the flanker. Back to pass, and he hits the guy right in stride, right on schedule. We have a first and 10, a first and goal at the four-yard line. And we're going to go off tackle with Williams. He does not. He got maybe a yard. Second and goal. Um, I'm not ready to do that yet. Second and goal from the... Wisconsin three. I'm going to go line buck with Henderson. And he makes a touchdown, Ohio State. And if you're wondering, you probably watched some of my other ones, um, my other uh, college rivalry matchups, and you've probably seen what they want me to go for two. Wait a minute. No, there was a penalty. It looks like there was a penalty. All right, well, now we're going to go short pass. And you might have noticed that I've taken the underdog team in those games, and here I am definitely not taking the underdog. And the reason for that, wow, wide open. He was so wide open, it was like he was in Wyoming. But anyway, um, I'm taking Ohio State because I am an Ohio State fan. I love the Big Ten and I really, my one of my favorite teams from when I was a kid in college football is Ohio State. So we are going to uh, kick the extra point, even though I could go for two because this is college football. Don't see a need to do that. And we're up 14 nothing, just like that. Not really just like that. I mean, you know, it took some doing. But we're up 14 nothing, and we are kicking off with 11.36 left in the half. Wisconsin will field the kick at the three-yard line. And uh, we have a first and, or they have a first and 10 at the Wisconsin 25. So let's, uh, let's go with the, uh, we're going to try to stuff the run. They do run the ball, and we're not stuffing it. That's second and six. I'm going to look run again. And we stuffed it that going to look for the pass and try to defend the pass. And we should be supreme against the pass. And uh, we're not that supreme because we let him get a first down. I am going to look for the pass. Oh, he handed it off. How did I know? But we got him. Now I'm going to look for the run. I just got a feeling he's going to try to run it again. And he does. And this time we got him in the backfield in 33. I am going to pass and even really double team uh, somebody. I'm going to double team the split end. I mean, he looks like the best receiver they got. Ooh, he does an outlet pass and he's going to get us. He's going to get us. I'm going to look for the run. He is going to run it a lot. Uh, we can we can defend against it. We're going to go run. Now he's passing. And he does get the first down at our 41. I'm going to look for the run. 
And he does run it, and he only gets no yards, maybe one. I'm going to look for the run. Oh, they had movement on the line. So they got a second and 15. I'm still going run. I am still, you know what? I'm still going to go. I'm going to go with the, well, we'll do that. We'll go with the nickel, but we're still going to look for the run. And it's incomplete. And I'm not going to double team anybody this time. I'm just looking for the pass. And he misses him. Yeah, he, his quarterback is just not that good. And we're going to put in the punt return. 6.32 left in the half. He does a coffin corner punt, which will be good. It's going to hem us up to the seven-yard line, I believe. First and 10 at the seven. So let's take, right now, let's take a quick look at the box score. Particularly the quarterbacks. You can see um, his quarterback is four of nine passing for 37 yards. Our CJ Stroud is 10 of 14 for 129 yards on a touchdown and an interception. And then you can see the running stats right here. So, um, and really, he's not even really rushing it for that well. Well, we have Trayvon Henderson, who is going crazy with 30, um, with a five-yard average. So, yeah, we're, uh, we're definitely doing quite well. I'm going to go off. I'm going to go pro set and off tackle with Henderson. And he gets some yards. Um second and seven i'm i'm gonna go i'm gonna go pro set again even though he is supreme against the run and i'm gonna go line buck with henderson and he gets a first dow we want to score before the half we're gonna have to quicken this up a little so i'm gonna go short to the flanker And he is going to have a nice reception for a lot of yards, my friend. This could be a touchdown. Could this go for a touchdown? No. They're going to catch him. First and 10 at the Wisconsin 24. With 423 left, I am going to go with the pro set again. And we're going to go off tackle with Williams, the fullback. And he is just chugging along and getting the first down. But anyway, we're going, we've got a first and 10, first and goal to Wisconsin 10. I'm going to try to pop it in there right now with a short pass to the flanker. And it is going to be a touchdown. And we are going to kick the extra point. Uh, no need not to do that. And make it 21 to nothing. With 329 left in the first half of this football game. Now the other games, I'll give you this. The other rivalry games have been very good. Um, they've been good games. They've been good competitive games. This one is not looking like it is. Although this dude can really, has a great special teams, return teams. <clears throat> Steven Bracey, that guy. Returned at 39 yards, and they've got a first and 10 at their own 47. I'm going to try with the linebacker blitz again. Let's just do it. Do it. And uh, they are just going out of bounds. Look for the pass. Yeah, I'm going to look for the pass, even though I'm probably a lead against the pass. But that's what they're doing. I'm a lead against the pass, and I'm looking for it, and that's what they're doing. Should be a bad combination, but it isn't. He completes it for a big pass play. So they've got a first and 10 at our 23. I'm going to look for the run because there's still 217 left. They've got enough time. We do ham them up. And I'm going to look for the run. And uh, they, they pass it and they get a first down. So... I am going to look for the run. He does run, and we get him in the backfield. 
Uh, second and goal at the 11. I'm going to look for the run. And he does run. And we do get him in the backfield. 13. Third and, third and goal from the 13. Now I am looking pass. There is no way you look for the run on this play. And we do stop him right at the three. Now the, uh, oh no, he's kicking. He's kicking. You got to be crazy as a, all right, well, I'm going to put in the kick block. Not that I care that he got three points. I mean, I got 21. 21. All right, so 45 seconds left in the half. And they're kicking off. And we're going to return it. I'm going to say run. Uh, I'm going to say run with the ball. Might as well. I mean, I don't know how good we are, and we want to see that anyway. We're not, we're not that good. We got it out to the 15. Um, I'm going to go line buck from this formation with Williams. And they were not at all ready for that. I'm just trying to get us to the half. One second left, I'm going to go look in pass to the flanker. And there was a penalty, and if it's on him, the half can't end. So let's see. Yeah, I'm going to accept the penalty. So we got a first and ten. You know what? I'm going to go long. We might as well. Let's see what happens. Worst thing that can happen is he gets picked off. And, uh, and well, it was incomplete, but there was one second left in the half. So not a big deal. And uh, that's the out-of-town scoreboard. And they are kicking off to us. And I am going to try to run with the ball. Ooh, ooh, this is a nice return. This is, a, but he's going to get caught because he runs right at the guy. But we're going to have the ball in Wisconsin territory on the kickoff return. So let's look at the uh, halftime stats, the box score so far at the half. It is 21-3 Ohio State. I don't think we have anything to worry about. They've got Graham Mertz passing at 7 for 12 for 91 yards. And we've got Stroud at 13 of 18 for 204 yards, two touchdowns, and an interception. Rushing-wise, they've got Braylon Allen at 10 rushes for 17 yards. Chez Malushi at 9 rushes for 24 yards. John Chanel at two rushes for nine, and we've got Trayvon Henderson, eight rushes for 41 yards and a touchdown, and Mayan Williams, four rushes for 30 yards. So we're really dominating on, like, every side of the ball. Um, but I am going to go back to the pro set, and we're going to go off tackle with Henderson. Oh, he's going to get caught way in the back. Um, short to medium pass to the halfback. Let's go to the halfback. Let's do it. Oh, he's going to get sacked. We're going to do a short pass to the flanker. High, higher percentage than like a long pass. And it's got to be the outlet to the running back. And he is going to get Jack Diddly Dang. I don't even know who the punter is. But he let it rip. They're going to let it drop. Let's hope it drops in the field of play. It does not. It crosses the line, and so it'll be a touchback. But I'm fine with that, you know. I'm going to look for the run. I mean, that's their bread and butter. And it looks like they have a penalty. Maybe they do, or maybe it was us. A one-yard gain, though. 
That's not good. I'm going to accept a penalty. I want to back them up as far as I can back them up. They got a first and 20 at the 10. I'm going to look for the run. Because, you know, is, who is it? Mertz is the quarterback. He is just not that good. I'm going to look for the pass. Yeah, all right. They run the ball, but we get them. We, third quarter, 11.33 left in the third. It's four. It's 21 to 3. Us, they have a third and 14 at their own 16. I am going to look for the pass. You've got to pass here. You cannot be running the ball. And they catch it. Unreal. And aren't we a lead against the pass? I'm going to look for the run again because that is his bread and butter. It's what he's doing all game long and really with some success, I might add. He's got four yards, and uh, there is 10.43 left. I'm going to look for the run again. And he runs again, and this time we get him maybe in the backfield for a loss. I am looking for the pass. I'm not going to double-team anyone. I'm just going to look for the pass, and he runs it, but we get him. Fourth and seven. So, yeah. We'll put in the punt return. And he does a coffin corner again, predictably. Although this time it, uh, it, no, it doesn't work. It's a touchback. Should be. And, uh, yeah, 921 left in the third. You know what? I'm going to launch this one. I know I, we had really kind of mixed results with that, but I'm going to do it anyway. Oh, he's going to get sacked. No, he's going to be out on his own and running. And he gets maybe a yard or two. We got a second and nine. I'm going to go back to the, uh, there we go. And I'm going to go line buck with Williams. I mean, that guy has been great all game. And he got some good yards too. He got five yards, so we're going to have a third and four. That's not too bad. And they're going to be, they're going to be geared up looking for the pass. There we go. And I'm going to go line buck with Henderson. And they, we get the first down. Go pro set again. Off tackle with the fullback. Oh, he's going to get hemmed up in the backfield. We're going to go flat to the wide receiver. Second and 11, flat to the wide receiver. And it's incomplete. They're playing us. I'm going to go short to the split end. And he catches it for a first down and a little more. First and 10 for OSU at the uh, <clears throat> um, OSU 45. I'm going to go off tackle with the fullback. And that gets some good yard. All right, well, Master Teague doing the job. We got a second and four. And pro set and line buck with Henderson. Oh, he's going to get. All right, so we got a third and five. We're going to go looking past to Olaf. And it is complete for a first down, a first and 10 uh, at the Wisconsin 36. Let's air it out again, air it out again and go long to Olav. Two times in a row. Now, I don't know if the computer game is going to gonna ding me for that, but it's incomplete. Second and 10, I'm going to go line buck with Henderson. And he's going to get hemmed up. Uh, we're going to go a short pass to Wilson. And there's a penalty, and it's on us. Third and 16 at the Wisconsin 42. 
Let's still go short pass to Olave. Olave, maybe Olave. And he is going to catch it for a first. Ah! And we got a first and 10 at the Wisconsin 25. I'm going to go line buck with the fullback. And he gets some serious yards. They did not see that one coming. And he might have a touchdown. <laughs> wow. Wow. And we are going to kick the extra point and uh, probably put this game, for all intents and purposes, out of reach. And if that is the case, I will, in the uh, fourth quarter, I will um, cut to different parts of the fourth quarter and spare you the watching the entire thing um, so that um, you don't have to sit here and watch a foregone conclusion play out although again with the great return crazy with that great return he's got a first and 10 at his own 47 I mean right at this point we're just we're just pinning our ears back and looking past. If you want to run the ball, you are welcome to do it because you're down by 25 points. Going to look for the pass. And he runs, but he gets hemmed up pretty quickly for it. And he gets three yards there. He's got a third and seven. Going to look for the pass. And he runs, and he gets hemmed up pretty quickly. Fourth and six, he's punting. All right, I can get down with that. I mean, Ohio State yesterday, as I'm recording this, Ohio State uh, beat Iowa, and they had their second stringers in in the second half. Um, I'm going to go pro set and off tackle with Henderson. Ooh, something we can do. We're going to go short to the wide receiver, though we seem to have our way with passing. And that's incomplete. And uh, we got to... Got to try to go short here, short to the flanker on third and nine. And it's incomplete. 14 seconds left in the third quarter, and as I said, I will skip portions of the fourth quarter um, because it looks like this game is a foregone conclusion at this point. Nice punt, too, and they didn't even try to field it and run with it, so they're going to have a first and 10 at the 25, Will, Wisconsin. And as we are entering the aforementioned fourth quarter, uh, we're going to go safety blitz. And they try to pass the ball, and not only do they try, but they do it. And uh, they catch us with our pants down on that one. Yeah, they got to go for it. And I'm going to look for the run and key the halfback Allen. And they do try to pass, which is risky. Uh, but not really, because they complete it, and they complete it down to the 14-yard line, to our 14. So they've got a first and 10 at the 14. I am going to look, I'm going to look past, because, I mean, what are you going to do? you got to get a score quickly. And it's intercepted! And I'm going to try to gain some yards with that bad boy interception. And we just have to beat the quarterback, and we don't. First and 10. Um, let's go long. Long to the split end. And it's incomplete. And in 10, let's go flat pass to the split end. Looking and hitting his guy, and his guy hit he hits him in stride, and he gets some good yard. 11.38 left in the game. Um, we have a first and 10 
at our 38, I'm going to go flat to Williams, the fullback. I mean, this guy has been a workhorse all game long. And it's incomplete. Uh, we're going to go short, medium pass to the wide receiver, Olav. And he does catch it. We got a first and 10 at the Wisconsin 45. And we're going to go look in pass to the split end. And that's going to be for a first down. A first and 10 at the Wisconsin 27 with 10.25 left in the game, up 25 to 3. And I'm going to go long to the wide receiver. And that's incomplete. I thought it was going to be picked off, but it's incomplete. And with 10.07 uh, left, we have a first and goal to two. No, it was completed. He completed that pass. Holy crap. I, I'm shocked. All right, so now we're going to go pro set. They've got us in that. And we're going to go off tackle with Williams, who they just can't seem to stop. And he does score a touchdown. Yeah, 34 to 3. <clears throat> I am, you know what? I am going to uh, try to get the two points. Because why not, you know? Line buck with Pryor. Uh, they're gonna they're gonna stop it. I mean it doesn't really matter. I mean we're gonna we're still gonna win. Alright, first and ten or wait, we're kicking off, yeah. We are kicking it off. And of course I expect a nice return to like midfield. No, they don't. Why not? No, it's a touchback. All right. They got a first and 10 at the 25, 949 left. I am looking for the pass. We're up 34-3. I mean, he only needs 31 points to tie. I don't know why I should be thinking we're in trouble. Uh, we're going to look for the pass. And he completes it, it looks like, for a first down. On a quick slant. Got a first and 10 at their 36. I'm going to look for the pass. 8.54 left in the game. They got a second and 10. I'm going to look for the pass. And he runs the ball. And he gets six yards. So he's got a third and four. I'm going to look for the pass. Looking for the pass. And we're elite against the pass. And he still manages to get a nice pass playoff. 18-yard play. And I am going to look for the pass. And uh, he gets first down running the ball, which is fine, because there's only eight minutes left, and I'm up by 31 points. So Going to look for the pass. And he gets a he gets a first down for sure. Got a first and ten at our thirteen. I'm I'm gonna look for the run. I'm gonna change it up right here and look for the run. And he does run and we do hem him up. Thought he was gonna have a free like six or seven yard run there, but no. And we're gonna look for the run again. And now we got him in the backfield. So now he's going to have a third and a lot. And I'm going to look for the pass this time. 
and he runs it and fumbles the ball, but he fumbles it to his own guy, I think. Yeah, the quarterback picked it up. All right, I'm going to look for the run. And we do stop him from getting a touchdown. All of this is like costing him time that he really doesn't have. I'm going to look for the run again. And that time he runs it in for a touchdown. 432 left in the game, though, when that play started. Now there's 416 left. We're going to put in the kick defense. And he is going to make it, but it is 34-10. Now I expect an onside kick. And that is what he's going to do. And what happened? Yeah, we got it. We got it, King. All right, we're going to go short to the halfback. Short pass to the halfback. Those people that love to see me pass to the halfback or say that I don't, got to love this play. And I love it, too, because it goes for a first down. We have a first and 10 at the Wisconsin 30. I am going to go off tackle with Williams. Oh, he was off sides. So that'll be a penalty and we can get another play. I'm going to accept the penalty and we got a first and five at the Wisconsin 25 and now I'm going to go line buck with Williams. Oh, he's going to get trapped in the backfield. One of the few times you saw that happen with Williams this game. We've got a second and eight at the Wisconsin 28. I'm going to go short pass to the flanker. And it's going to be incomplete. And I'm going to go short pass to the flanker. And that's intercepted. Not that I care. Maybe our quarterback Stroud cares because it hurts his stats a little bit, but. First and 10 for Wisconsin at the 17. I'm going to look for the pass. There's only two minutes left in the game. And that's incomplete. I'm going to look for the pass. And that is no yards. Well, it is. Actually, it is. It's... Five yards, actually. Third and five. I'm going to look for... I'm going to look for the run. No, the run. The balance. The balanced. They don't even give me the chance. All right, I'm going to look for the pass. then. And they fumble it to us. Fumble I... I think they fumbled it to us. Maybe not. I think they might have recovered. They recovered, but they got a fourth and two. I'm going to look for the run. No, I can't. I'm going to look for the balanced. And they do complete the pass. But I keep, I think I kept him in bounds. 52 seconds left. I'm going to look for the pass. 22, that's actually 22 seconds left now. And it's incomplete. He's got the ball first and 10 and it's, well now it'll be second and 10 and it's 31. And I'm going to look for the pass. He 
He's looking for a receiver. Mertz is back looking for a receiver, and he's not going to find one. It's going to be incomplete. And he has a third and ten at the 31. I'm going to look for the pass. And he does hit his receiver, and I keep him in bounds. And there was only eight seconds left when that play started, so we'll see what happens. And uh, there's one second left. I'm going to look for the pass. Pass and double team the flanker. And he's got all the time in the world and looks like it's going to be an incomplete pass. And that should be the game. Yep. And let's look at the uh, reports, although we've been looking at them all game long. Uh, we won the game 34-10. Mertz, for him, was uh, 15 of 28, passing for 212 yards and an interception. Our man Stroud was 22 of 35, passing 349 yards, two touchdowns, and two interceptions. Um, and there you can see the running stats. I'm not going to go down all of these. You can pause the video if you really wanted to see all of the stats. Um, although I am going to highlight Mayan Williams, 59 yards on eight carries for a 7.4 yard average and two touchdowns and i think he caught a pass um no he didn't nope he didn't i thought he might have so anyway there are the stats and that is going to be it for me sportsman z bob zolke